the pollen forager. All rest of her life will work as supplier of pollen for all members of its family. It's July. Their work at the entrance in most beehives looks similar. Lack of nectar source makes the workers' movements quite small. Unavailability of food makes them save the accumulated earlier supplies. Therefore, bees have relatively low volatile activity. At first glance, you can see that this one bee family stands out from the rest. There are a lot of workers in the wheel of the hole. Some of them formed angling clusters of live bees. In the entrance itself, increased movement takes place, and the workers set around with intense wings flapping and their heads turning into the entrance hole. Some of them shows a brighter, the final fragment of the abdomen, with a fragrance gland called the defour gland. The fragrance he secretes lure the worker inside. It is a pheromone and information relay in a bee colony. The fragrance spread in the air acts like a signpost that shows the bees entering their own hive. Why are they doing it? And why their behavior differs from other bee colonies in this period of the year? At the outlet and in there, around the entrance to the nest you can see drones, which have been being expelled from other families much earlier. The reason was drought and after that hunger. However, this one hive took them all. Why did he do it? After all, drones, male bees, almost nothing gives to the bee family, but only constantly beg for food. In this case, however, their reception was well founded. There is an unadulterated, virgin queen who is waiting for the right moment to make a mating flight inside the hive. It is prepared by workers and rushed during nice weather to do its mating flight. She flies out daily during a nice almost windless weather between the 4 and 7 p.m. from the fourth day of her life. She has little time. Her success and her whole family depends on a successful wedding flight. She must become mated to the 20th day of her life. After this time her mating reactions disappear and the queen begins to lay unfertilized eggs. Only drones develop from them. In a short time the workers are dying and the all family when is deprived of the care of workers also disappear. How is the new mother queen born in the beehive? Bees built a so-called mother cell a month before present day. Feeders from the whole hive make royal jelly in it to feed the growing bees larva. Earlier, they forced the old queen to put eggs in it. They look after it and heat it continuously. After eight days, they close the cell and wait for the birth of a young virgin queen. In this moment the old queen leave the colony with half among of workers and until born new queen the colony is orphaned. But now, a month later something has changed into the hive. Now the new queen is not a virgin anymore. She met within wedding flight and now three days after her abdomen is quite larger than before. It's full of growing eggs. Now her only job is laying them. In that way the young queen saved the colony from oldens of workers and disaster of all colony. <laughs>